All right, this is 2802 Willow Trace. And I'm gonna run down the, uh, the main stack here that's pretty much in the center of the house. We've got some offsets in it, it's a pretty high roof. And what we wanna check is flow going from the house to the septic. The concern was that the flow was slow going into the septic, so we just want to run the camera through here and verify it. So we are under the house now, so I'm going to go ahead and reset our counter, and then I'm going to start running it, and I will identify any problems. So that's going to be probably where a washing machine is coming in or a sink by the looks of the fitting. That's definitely going to be a sink there. All right, this is the clean out right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll locate that when we're on the way back. So we've run under the property and now we're exiting the property. So this is the main line from the house going to the septic and that's just got some toilet paper sitting in it. That's probably what's causing that water to sit there. We'll flush that through here in a minute. Got another issue here with this is all standing water. So it changes from PVC. I don't think I'm quite to the tank yet. This looks like cast iron. So again, some toilet paper standing there. So again, it looks like some more uh, toilet paper clogged up here and we're underwater.
right, I'm going to go run some water in the house to check the flow and see if it'll help us to uh, get the camera a little further. So we're changing back to PVC again. All right, so we're in our drop now, headed down to the tank.
All right, that should be the tank right there, that debris that we got to. So flow looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go inside and shut the water off so that we can uh, inspect the line coming back. So there is some debris in the line going into the septic. Uh, you could talk to Gus Plumbing 
about digging the septic, you know, the at least the entry point into it back up and jet cleaning this entire line. Yeah, that's as far as we're going to be able to push. So we're 140 feet from the bottom of the main stack going towards the septic. So we do have flow at this point, but uh, it is slow. All right, I'm going to start pulling back to inspect the line from this point. So you can see even after flowing all that water, some of that toilet paper still remained in uh, clumps.
So this section is holding just a little bit of water, but the camera head itself is extremely small, so I'm not too concerned with this area. And it's our change back to uh, cast iron pipe here. This section of the pipe looks pretty good so far. I don't see any major issues. And now it's back to PVC again. There's one clean out right there. That's 60 feet. That's going to be in the main line. So this is the clean out right outside of the house. We are going to locate it. All right, so I've located the clean out. I dug it up and exposed it. And then I stuck a hose down in there because the cap was not threaded on. So a little bit of dirt fell in. Everything under the house looks great. So 140 feet from the stack, water is flowing down on the line that runs down to the septic, but the line under the house and from the house out to 140 feet, I don't see any issues with it at all. It looks really good. This is John with iFind Leaks. Thanks for watching.